Hello and welcome back. This is Greg French. Today we're going to be looking at FTP software. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol. Uh, I want to draw your attention to our website, uh, Computer Repair Training uh, Plus. Uh, this website will have some additional information, uh, additional articles, uh, resources that uh, you might find useful. FTP, the learning objectives. We're going to learn that FTP, the file transfer protocol, uses TCP, uh, the transmission control protocol services, and runs at our application layer. Uh, we're going to learn that FTP uh, normally uses ports 20 for data transmission and port 21 for commands. We're also going to learn that FTP has a passive mode that can be used to maneuver around firewalls uh, for changing uh, the command and data port numbers. This allows you to get around firewalls. Uh, FTP. FTP is fast, it's efficient, and again runs at the application layer of the OSI model. OSI stands for Open Systems Interconnect. This is a model that we'll be learning uh, off as part of our network series. Uh, this is just a little diagram of our OSI model showing you the different layers, starting down here uh, at the first layer, uh, going all the way through uh, seven layers here, physical, data link, network, transport, session, uh, presentation, and application. These layers are pretty important uh, when we're going over our network series because uh, part of the Network Plus and the uh, CCNA, you need to learn what each one of these layers are, uh, how they function, uh, for networking services, uh, the different protocols, uh, the different uh, uh, frames, and uh, the way the data is configured and constructed uh, to be used uh, through these layers. Pretty important. Uh, we'll be discussing this in depth uh, as we get into more of our network series. Uh, next, uh, the FTP passive mode. In the passive mode, uh, the client, uh, not the server, but the client initiates the port numbers instead of the server side and the and steps uh, side steps the blocked uh, FTP firewall ports. So this allows us to get around that port 20 and 21 if they're blocked or filtered uh, by our server. Uh, in review, uh, FTP uses TCP services. Uh, FTP normally uses ports 20 and 21, uh, but however, in the passive mode, on our client side, we can readdress uh, these ports 2021 and step around uh, the firewall or the filtering. Uh, very nice little maneuver uh, that the FTP does uh, so that we can still transfer uh, files. Uh, in activities here, I want you to download and install FileZilla. FileZilla is an open source uh, FTP uh, utility. Uh, very, very popular, uh, very good little uh, program once you get familiar with it. We're going to be transferring some files. We're going to do a lab and we're going to transfer files between our desktop computer and website. Uh, there are some questions I want you to answer in the review and then you'll be turning those in as you do them on the computer. Uh, again, I want to draw your attention again to this computer repair training website, uh, computer repair training uh, plus.com. You'll find some additional resources and information uh, that you might find helpful. Well, thank you very much for your time. This concludes uh, the FTP uh, lesson. Uh, you might also look at the other uh, FTP lesson that we have or demo that we have uh, showing you uh, FileZilla, how to set it up, and how to transfer files to a website. Thank you very much for your time.